So, what if you can color grade your YouTube video in just one minute? Huh, how do we do that? This video is the answer. Okay, let's start today's tutorial. How's it going people? Welcome back to another new tutorial and thank you for tuning in again. So have you ever felt this way when you color grade your videos? Okay, let's color grade. First, exposure, shadow, highlight, and saturation. Alright, color grading another new video. Exposure, highlight, shadow. Okay, again, new video color grading. Shadow, exposure, ooh, color grading, same old. Color grading, color grading, color grading. Even though what you do on that color grading is always pretty much same, every time you're doing from the top. I used to do that. But I realized that when I shoot in this room, everything is same. Like a lighting, condition, position, and camera setting, like exposure, ISO, shutter speed. So that means color grading process is also gonna be same. But how do we put each color grading process like a manipulating shadow, highlight, exposure in just one step? The answer is make your own lot. Okay, welcome back to my Premiere Pro workspace. So today I'm going to use this footage. It's one of scenes from my YouTube videos. So if you watch my videos regularly, this is as usual. When I shoot like this, everything is the same. Position, lighting, conditions, and camera setting. So if I make lot which I can apply to this, my typical studio talking footage, the color grading is gonna be so much easier and faster. Okay, first thing I do is creating adjustment layer from here, like this, and drag it over the footage, like this and color grading on this adjustment layer. This adjustment layer is gonna be a lot. So at this point, what you gotta do is just color grade the footage. So I'm going to do bringing up the contrast like this and bring it down, highlight maybe, yeah, and up the shadow, uh, saturation. Anyway, just do whatever you want. Okay, so now I finished my color grading on this footage. So next thing you do is go to Limitry Color and click on this bar and click export cube and name whatever you like like a studio talking whatever lot something like this and save done so now you just measure a lot so how to apply the lot to this footage so first thing you do is same thing drag this adjustment layer over the footage that you want to color gray like this and select this adjustment layer and go to Lumetri Colors Creative and select this look and go to browse and go find where you saved lot. So I saved my lot right here. Uh, which one? Yeah, this studio talking lot and open. Now color grading is done. This color grading process can be done in one minute once you measure lot. Okay, so I have another footage right here. This is from another video. So once again, this footage was taken under the pretty much same condition like a camera setting and lighting condition. So that means I can apply my lights to this footage. Okay, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but this time, let's time. All right, ready, go. Okay, drag this adjustment layer on this footage like this, come on. Yep, like this and go to creative, look, browse, Studio talking lot, up and done. But what I have to do is micro adjustment because you know depending on what I wear, the image slightly changes. So I'm gonna do like a bring down the highlights a little bit, shadow a little bit, yeah, like this situation a little bit. Yeah, done. I guess it's less than one minute. And like this, once you measure a lot, the color grading of YouTube videos can be done within like one minute, maybe within 30 seconds. Anyway, it makes your color grading process so much easier and faster. And I think it's a good idea to make three or four lots so that you can handle some types of videos like daytime or nighttime. And most important thing is this can be done with less energy. So save them for your next creative works. Energy is limited. Creativity, it's up to you. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this tutorial, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And if you have any requests, also leave the comment below. So today's topic is pretty much it, and thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me your thumb and then hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So recently I am getting a lot of questions about my picture profile or camera setting and color grading, about color grading. So I think I'm going to make some video about color grading. 
Oh, I don't know if it's gonna be tutorial or you know just showing you guys my color grading process. So if you're interested in, just leave some comment below. If there are some, I will do that. Okay, this time, truly, I'll see you in the next video.